Okay, now I'm going to break the solo down for you into 11 separate licks. Uh, we're in the key of G minor. Lick one sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick one. And what we're doing is we're starting right here in the fourth position, minor pentatonic box, uh, key of G. And you're going to come in on the fourth count. Um, this is a 12-8 blues, but you could also count it in 4-4 four, four if you would like to. So we got one, two, three. And on the fourth count, we're coming right in on this bend, 13th fret of the B string. Let it die down some, and then we're going to hit 11-13. 12 on the G string, and that's our root. When playing in that fourth position, minor pentatonic scale, uh, always know that um, this note right here, which is on the G string, you know, go down the fourth position, minor pentatonic scale, that note is your root note. You gotta know where the root notes are at in all of the positions in the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, makes it a lot easier to navigate between them if you do know that. So we're just gonna apply some uh, vibrato and let it uh, sustain through the bar. And then on the uh, next bar, we're gonna have uh, rest and about, we're gonna go one, two. Right after the second count, we're gonna go into this phrase, one, two. So I'm just barring my first finger on the uh, third fret of the high E and the B, and we're moving into the first position minor pentatonic scale. Uh, doing that and then hitting the B high E. Pulling off six to three on the B. Five, three, pretty basic stuff here. Now bend uh, the fifth fret on the G string up. Now bending up again, so you got. Now, while it's bent, uh, strike it and release it down. Let's pull it down kind of slowly. And when the next bar comes around, we'll do this phrase. Really basic, easy stuff, um, but it just sounds really cool, especially in a minor blues like this, uh, where the dynamics are pretty low. Uh, it's just a lot of feeling going on with these type licks and that bending. You want to kind of drag that little phrase here, so it just kind of. It sounds good not to just play it right directly on the beat, like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got kind of like of a drag sound to it, and you can just drag it far as you need it. So we got that little phrase. Three, five, three. Really easy lick. And then this last little phrase here. Just hammering on three to five on the A string, barring my first finger on the third fret, fret of the D and the G string. And just hitting those D, third fret, D, G, and back to that uh, D. 
and then our root note here on the fifth fret of the D string. So pretty, uh, some pretty cool stuff going on there, and that's it for lick one. Okay, like two sounds like this. Okay, so for lick two, we're doing one of these classic kind of David Gilmore over bends. So I'm just striking it once, bending it up to two frets up, and then two more frets. So if I just slide, it sounds like this. Now I'm just gonna take that same principle and bend it. Uh, like I was talking to you about in the previous lesson, uh, this over bending stuff. So it sounds really cool on that minor third, just bending up two frets and then two more frets. So essentially we're taking the minor third, a note contained in the minor pentatonic scale, and then bending it up to the next two notes in the scale. That's all that's happening here. So we got this note. Uh, all notes in the minor pentatonic scale, the minor third, the fourth, and the fifth intervals. So we got and then our root note here on the B string, eighth fret. That's our G note. And this is gonna be played over the four chord, the C minor chord. Now I got eight, 10. This is all third position minor pentatonic scale. Eight, 10, 11 on the B here. Now I got this little phrase on the 11th uh, and 12th count of this bar. Now slide into 11, 13, moving us in from the third position minor pentatonic to the fourth position minor pentatonic. Great way to move uh, to the third position, to the fourth position minor pentatonic scale. It doesn't have to be rocket science just to get from one area to another. Now I'm gonna rake and slide in from 13 to 15, and that puts us uh, to the fourth position, to the fifth position minor pentatonic. And then add some vibrato on both notes. So pretty easy lick. You just gotta get all the nuances down in the feel, which is getting those overbends, the vibrato sounding even. I'm using the round side of the pick and I'm not striking the strings real hard. Really kind of Dave Gilmore sounding there. He did a lot of stuff like that, the slides. Uh, the uh, bent over bends, the vibrato, uh, just a really cool lick. It also gives you some mileage out of using the third position minor pentatonic. You know, you can just slide easily to the fourth position pentatonic and slide easily to the fifth position minor pentatonic. Okay, so that is it for lick two.